T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the Peace Dealer, and of course, I am with my lovely co-host, Candace Marie, Beyond the Veil. That would be me. Yes. Um, thank you guys. Beams. With the what? The cancel beams. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm on one today. Welcome to the Mid Heaven <laughs> Podcast. Hmm. Um, so we're back again in action. Obviously, you yeah. see what we have in front of us. If you stay tuned and you listen to later in the episode... We are going to do another segment of Guess That Sign. Yep. A whole new roster. Now I have to like defend my honor in this. Yes. We gonna see who's gonna Or what win. little is Wait, left. Wait, you had honor oh, in up. the first Shh. round? Nice, the next one is black. I should know this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. In all fairness, we were only off smoked. by like, there was like two. I was off by two, but. It was a matter of timing and let's hold on uh, time out <laughs> so obviously <laughs> haters are gonna hate whatever mm. um stay tuned we'll i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited though i just feel like like I, i've been exercising my trigger finger you know i'm it. ready i'm ready to pop, 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 pop. oh yeah I'm um feeling, I'm feeling good I'm so feeling right. how how are you doing post the holidays how are you feeling i'm feeling hopeful i realized you know you know those memes where it's like 2020 was the seeds and 2021 was hope and i'm just kind of forgetting that that's what you said about 2021 (laughs) that's what you said about 2020 but i just like the sentiment you know i feel like white girls say that every year like don't worry it's the best one yet the best is yet to come and it's just progressively gotten worse since 2017 but like i feel like this is the the culmination. I think you guys got it right this year, but yeah. 2022 is going to be much more action packed than anything we've seen thus far. That's it's all so I'm going to say. So strange. Like Super Betty White weird. Passing like right before the year. I know. Before. I was so sad when Betty White died. It's weird because I was looking at her chart and I was like, wow, she's got this these planets in Capricorn. I was like, she's coming up on 100. And I was like, that's so significant. And yeah. like, apparently they did all of this stuff. In preparation for her 100th birthday, and then she passed. And that night I drank, I intended to drink for Betty White. I ended up drinking enough for all the Golden Girls. So, (laughs) I mean, stealing jokes. (laughs) I had to, though. I was really sad because her. Capricorn Sun, Virgo Moon, fucking bitchy Virgo ass. Moon. I mean, yeah. you know she's up there with, with the team. other Golden Girls, just like totally having a she party. She was like, I'm not waiting for a hundred. I'm getting my ass out of here. I mean, she went out with a, she went out with a bang though. That was quite a way to go out. Yeah. So good for her. And I just want to have the motivation to just like cop a crib in front of my ex-partner's house just to co-parent you know what i'm saying like before we started this episode i was like we have to talk about kanye's crazy antics i love the fact he's a visionary i love the fact that he bought the house directly across from kim kardashian very fucking gemini sun pisces moon i think about kim being a libra and venus going retrograde conjoined pluto in her fourth and her like crazy ex (laughs) is like stalking her and living across the street mind you he's also like fuck this house i'm gonna i'm gonna knock it all down and build a brand new house that's what he said yeah very so cool. he's trying he's trying to stay for a while you know what i'm saying can you imagine being pete davidson just like showing up for your like dick appointment and and Kanye's like <laughs> taking out the trash can Possibly. you imagine there's some fucking Ooh, hard motherfuckers doing? that fuck with Kanye like there'll be people trying to take him out just because they're associated with Kanye I mean even fans are walking up to her like hey Kim you know like you probably should just get back with him because I mean, but they're both Pisces but... moons and right. like I think of like her going on this whole like fashion spree where she's like wearing all these like bodysuits and shit and the fact that like you know Kanye was living with that model and he was trying to get back with her and then Kim's like what the fuck but Kim's like such a Libra that she like 
tries to keep the peace and shows up to all of his antics and his like record things and which Jupiter's going through his her fourth house and she's moving so like that's kind of interesting yeah that's well I situation. mean that and like I don't know it's, I don't know it's not over yet that's why I don't know I feel so like Pete Davidson is just like making the rounds and getting like all the secondhand like leftover pussy in Hollywood right now like oh my god and he's, a, I'm sure it he's a nice guy. The same way, but I know he's enjoying it. You yeah, I mean, like, like whatever, mean? fuck it. Like, okay, we see like him, Travis Barker, and also like, what's his name, Machine Gun Kelly. Like, they're all like dating all like the hot girls in Hollywood, but they all look like fucking like coke dealers. Like that's what the- <laughs> y'all, y'all winning. Not crazy, I guess. Like the scrawny, <laughs> nasty, like white tattooed guys are like. Sweeping what Hollywood. a way to end 2020, like the decade. Hello, too, Jupiter like, and Neptune and Pisces. Like, oh, you look like you have a neck tattoo and you sleep on a couch. I'll fuck you. Like, that's yeah. literally, and like, white girls are thinking this way right now. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, Tristan Thompson is not helping our face. Okay? Shit, like, dude. Can you imagine? <laughs> Black men do not cheat, by the way. So, like, he's <laughs> He's from Canada, how so many, that's why. He's how really many like, illegitimate, like, relationship baby mama situations does he have? I saw, like, the, somebody took his apology letter and they they, <laughs> they put it to the Star Wars theme where it was, like, him saying sorry to everybody and especially, like, Chloe. Damn. And Jake Paul knocked out Tyler Woodley. Like, this is just... It's just not It's been some good. shit. 2022 is already, good. like, not fucking around. Like, it it's already good. like, hey, 2020, hold my beer. Like, or 2021. Mm. Fuck. Yeah. I can't even believe it's 2022. I keep, like, thinking it's 2021, and I'm like, no, it's not. It's like when it ended, it finally started. But, I mean, you know, we even had another round of wildfires with Mars and Sagittarius. Yeah, I was but... going through uh, Colorado. Is it Denver? Yeah. Area, I saw, I saw that, which is crazy. But I mean, it, people are like, "Oh, it's winter, Mars and Sag, but also like Saturn in Aquarius and all these planets in Capricorn. It's very dry. True. It's very dry, so it may be cold, Maybe but it's dry. Because they're putting an investigation probe into who, you know, lit all that. So there is that mystery with the square to Pluto, hmm. even if it's like an accident. Still, it's just like interesting to say the least there's always a fire when Sagittarius well, and, and Mars and Sag has been activating all of the eclipse yeah. points so that's going on as that well too. too right now so too. Yeah. you know I think that um it'll be I feel like it's gonna take some time I mean I think of like the Venus retrograde going on right now and like all the conjunctions to Pluto that are happening and it's like about to be like a lot of insurance companies worst nightmare Right where there's going to be like obviously the the fires that are going on, but other extreme weather. We just recently, a couple of weeks ago, we saw those bouts of like tornadoes in the south. So it's just there's a lot, there's a lot of there's a lot of shit going on. A and lot. it's all happening like it's all happening. So like yeah. it's going to take until like September to process and analyze everything. And I feel like the way we're starting it out versus six months from now, we're going to think it's looking a certain way versus oh shit, that's what it really was. So adaptability is definitely important but yeah that north node has yeah. yet well the true north node the true, the true north, node yeah. has yet to leave gemini so it's still in it's gemini still right now and man even just like new years i think of like when the moon ingress into sag and it squared neptune terrible weather all over yeah. the all over the united states but here it was like crazy it was like super windy so i think that we're still gonna see like lots of like wild weather happening clear through like pisces season yeah um it's next rainy. is going to be the round of it rain. Know, rain or snow it's going to be rain it's going to be flooding it's going to be uh like tsunamis and stuff like that unfortunately so we were worried of a, a terrorist attack i remember we spoke a little bit like yeah i felt like if it didn't happen new year's it's we're still in the range of something to happen so. i'm hoping that that still doesn't happen i mean yeah. the transit new year's eve was very like, it made me feel like, mm, I don't really want to go out and be around, like, a ton of people, yeah. you know, just with the squares to Neptune. And um, I think that the way that I look at it, you know, I'm, I'm stoked to see, like, Venus and Mars move along each other pretty much from Capricorn through Pisces. Um, yeah. And I'm really excited to see, like, the conjunctions to Jupiter. But for the most part, like, I feel like the New Year is not really going to start until, like, the Sun, Jupiter, Mars all ingress into Aries. So in my mind, I'm trying to, like, 
tell myself like just chill don't worry focus on getting everything's or everything organized between now and like March going into April and then when those ingresses happen into Aries it's like okay that's my new year so yep. I'm still kind of getting everything organized you know in route to a reset and that should be super exciting just off the strength that like by then Everything will have happened. Everything that's going to happen and yeah. should happen will have happened. And we're moving forward from that. And that's just so much happening so quickly. And uh, considering how, you know, the year started, I know that's just kind of arbitrary because we always remember it for celebrities. But there's always like the celebrity death before and after the new year starts. I was going to say, did you notice it in a bigger frequency? But it just kind of seems arbitrary because it's kind of what happened the last couple of years well new year's was also kind of flavored with that new moon that came in on the second yeah you know and so i think that that's great for setting intentions in regards to a new cycle but i feel like it's really kind of showing us in the month of january between that new moon which was in a trine tyrannous and the full moon that's going to come later in january that's going to be in cancer that's opposed pluto is like I almost feel like we're going to get like this preview in January of 2022 of like everything like that we need to get done. It's going to be like this, this overview of like, well, this is what you thought you had done and here's where you really are. And like, this is what you actually need to focus on accomplishing. Yeah. So it's going to give us like a mission for the next three months to kind of like work on and work through. I like the whole mission aspect because like, especially in route to that Taurus North Node, it's like, we're going to be more solid yeah on what we're meant to do than ever it's not yeah. just going to be an idea anymore so well also really like you know capricorn's 10 signs from aries so i think of like the mars jupiter sun ingress into aries and like a lot of what you're initiating and starting during that period of time already it's the astrological new year so in a way like the cosmos are working with you they support whatever you're kind of putting in motion but I think that there's a lot of working behind the scenes and like focusing on long-term planning and goals instead of focusing on like a job. It's like, well, what's my career, right? Or yeah. instead of focusing on what you can get done now, it's like, what's your goal down the road? So what's your there's long-term plan too, right? There's lots of opportunities over the next three months to like really, I think, integrate that energy, especially when Mars gets into Capricorn and just get a lot of stuff done and start strategizing yeah. and planning. And with the trines to the North Node and the conjunctions to Jupiter, I would not underestimate this energy. I feel like it's almost like the new year is going to be kicked off so much more April, May, June that yeah. some things are worth kind of waiting and allowing for them to like mature and like come completely Instead together. Of jumping the gun. Yeah. 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 Which will definitely have the ability to, you know, coming into Jupiter Aries just to get the feet wet, but definitely coming into next year, just take your time to reevaluate. But Anyway, are you are you ready for for this for what? Yes, yes. yes. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! It's about that time. All right, I'm down to do this. Okay, so he will tell us. He will show us the person. Obviously, it's whoever hits it first. And hopefully the editor sees it, so I'm not getting screwed out of a win. <laughs> Secondly, we have to say why. So when you say their sun sign, you have to say why you think that is their sun sign. Okay. Deal? Deal. Deal. Let's do it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right. Couple rules. Hands on the table. Yes. <laughs> to start. Um, all right. I have... <laughs> Carefully selected uh, 10, 11 for a tiebreaker, and kept it fair once again. So, like we said, call the sign. If you're wrong, your partner will get a chance to steal. Okay. <laughs> and you need to explain why. Okay. Then we get it. All right, you ready for number one? Yeah. Oh, Here we go. Snap. Can you see? Yeah. That was Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. And Tom Brady is a 
Capricorn. Are you guessing right now? No, I thought it was the Capricorn. He's a Capricorn. You thought wrong. Okay. Ooh. Uh, oh, I'm never mind. I'm gonna say he's a Scorpio because he's focused. And also incorrect. Okay. Is he a Libra? Um, hold on. Let's back up here. Guess. We should. Before I tell you if you're right or wrong, my fault. You should justify the okay. reasoning. Go ahead. Because he's the goat. Right. I don't like saying that, but, right. ah, but he is. Better than who? He's the goat. Better than? Eminem? What is Eminem for 100? <laughs> <laughs> the, other, the other quarterback. Wrong game show. <laughs> the other quarterback in the league. Stop it. No. Better Stop than? it. No, I'm not doing that on the Man interweb. Oh, Nobody Aaron is better Rodgers. than Aaron oh, Rodgers. Okay? Oh, go, Pat, go. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Whatever. But Brady's the greatest of all time, yeah, apparently. I mean, and he is a... Libra. Leo. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't have got that. All right. Let's further discuss why Tom Brady is a Leo and what aspects he has. I mean, he's got him. a great hairline, but it's fake. Oh, my God. It's like, he's, he's like the main character, I guess. Have you seen my... Like, bold leader. So I, I watched Sunday football, yeah. and I saw the last couple of months, there was like this whole like Tom through the years thing where you see like his face and all of his photos for each season. He has more hair, he's thinner, and he clearly has had Botox. Like, Tom Brady sold his fucking soul to the devil. Look at how he used to look 20 years ago and how he looks now. <laughs> well, anyone can buy hair. Have you seen Elon Musk, like, PayPal days? <laughs> he's basically bald. <laughs> and LeBron, his hair was melting off during a game. All you need is, like, 30, oh, he was, like, wiping it off. I think. 30 racks, 40 It's 30 000. racks to get yeah. hair plugs? To get, like, your hairline back. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah. All right. So is the next one worth two? Is that how we're doing <laughs> I mean, this? I mean, I guess. All right. Ooh, okay. Worth two points. Let's get it. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Here we go. I think that was Mike. Yeah. Ah, I know what he is. Fuck you. Go ahead. Yeah, he is a son in Libra because he's a classic he artist. You yeah. Know, Snoop Dogg. He's a Libra. Oh, I, was not, I got lucky. Mike's up two to nothing. Oh, God damn it. You know, we That's really not need fair. we really need a reason to play this game again. If you're just I'm gonna get smoked every time, then uh, probably not I'm worth trying, it. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's my hand eye. <laughs> this is it. I All right. Get this one. I'll be up. Mike is currently up two zip, two zip. right out the gate. Mm, mm. <gasps> Next we have Thank you, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Oh, oh, I think you got that one, Candace. What do you got? I think he's a Leo. Incorrect. What? Do you know what he is? Mm, I think he's a Pisces. Um, I know he's a good actor, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, why do you think the signs that you get? I mean, I feel like he's very warm and charismatic and like funny and very personable, yeah. and he's very confident. He's like he screams like Leo. Even his hair is like golden. Might be Leo Rising. I don't. I was. I'm gonna say Pisces just because maybe he can adapt in his roles and whatnot. But oh no, that's a guess. Matthew McConaughey. Uh huh. Is a Scorpio. Oh. oh. I did get one. I don't like Scorpio men, but he's kind of hot. I've met him in person. He stinks. He doesn't wear. He doesn't wear deodorant. Word. He doesn't wear deodorant, and he's like very. He's like super friendly. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's very friendly. Okay, whatever. Huh. He's okay in my book. Okay, so next one being worth two, we can tie the game now. Yeah. So be on it. Here we go. I think I got the advantage here. Number four. <laughs> 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 I got that. Word. Oh! He's a fucking Capricorn! Uh, bing, 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 bing! Uh, we got a tie game! Libra Wait. rising. Shit, you know his whole track. Fuck yeah, huh? he's all in the hookers. I watched that whole documentary. I was like, this guy's twisted. Okay. I wouldn't know what he did. Okay. <laughs> Tiger Woods <laughs> came back for his first tournament since his car I know wreck. Cosmos. I don't know and sports. And played with his son. They did the the dad-son tour or tournament. Yeah. And John Daly and his kid won the whole thing. Okay. So, question, if you know his chart so well, will Tiger... Definitely he'll come back, but will he win another tournament? And if so, will he win another major tournament? When is his? When is the next tournament he's participating in? Do you know? 
I do not know the answer to that, but he has time to recoup and heal. I feel like if there's anything going on in July or August in his chart is when he's... The Masters is in August. Okay, that's when he's most likely Typically. to be most successful. Damn, that would be a crazy Yeah, because of the Jupiter-Neptune opposition. He'd be the for real. Yeah. Damn, yeah, okay. he, I was super into his chart, though, after okay. watching that. Yeah, okay, well. All right, 2-2. Two, two. You should have known that. Do you no. explain why he's a Capricorn? His son's in the fourth house. He's um, like very committed and dedicated to like, like, like routine and like just how many times he has had upheavals, but he came back and like the fact that he's one of the oldest like uh, athletes in golf is like still crushing it. I mean, that's very yeah. Capricorn. I knew it was a sign. I was just late. Sag Moon, Libra Rising. I didn't know it was Libra Rising. All right, we have oh, a tie Sag game. Moon. Okay, just mm -hmm. like R. Kelly. Here we go. Number five. Ooh, that was Mike. Ellen is an Aquarius. She is. Because, yes, she is. Yes. Because? She is a talk show host like Oprah, and she trolls her guests, and she connects to a whole collective, and she sets a narrative, and she influences millions of people. And she's, and she's a lesbian, so she's weird. But like, <laughs> that's just like the awkward. We may, we may have weird. just alienated some of our viewers. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't mean lesbians are weird, but like, that's weird in society. Ooh, like, let me get you a shovel real quick. Like, she, she pushes the boundaries of what's normal. Because, you know, I guess now that's normal, but like, before when she came out, it was, it was very Aquarian. It was, you date a woman? Like, her like, her yeah. wife's hot. Portia's hot. Have you seen her? Aquarius women She's are a like fox. gangsters. Like they they attract. They they're She's like. She's very androgynous like too. Woman Just like with her hair I've and her it. clothes and stuff. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Oprah was also an Aquarius, right? Yeah, but mm -hmm. she has um. What's his name? Fuck. Stedman. Stedman, who doesn't live in her house, but has been her boyfriend forever, and she's like one of the wealthiest women in the world. So, total setup for Stedman. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, the score is currently four to two. Three to two. Three to Unless you two. want to oh, give up no, another no, no, point, no, that's three fine. To two, three to two. It can be four no, no, to two. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. <laughs> three to two. Mike is in the lead. Here we go. Number six. He's an Aquarius. No! Fuck! Yes, he is. Oh, fuck yeah, he is. Ah, fuck yeah, he that is. That was mine. No. I and needed that one. Why? Um, <laughs> because he's a leader of a group. He is an individual. He stands out from the crowd. He is all about networking and also, like, giving back to the community and, like, working with groups. Like, come on. He's the fucking If man. you haven't connected a theme for this Guess That Sign... It would be the episode of the... Aquarinaria? Goats. Air oh, <laughs> goats. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, sense. very rarely do I give props to Chicago that team. Chicago. Tiger, but... Brady, Jordan, come on. I mean, okay, all right. So where's Rodgers? Get on with it. You just said Brady was the greatest quarterback <laughs> of all time. He is, he, and I, ha you? I have to give points where points are due, so, you know. All right. Score is? Three to three, motherfuckers. And this is number seven. Nice so nice. we are getting down to the wire. Ready? Yep. Oh, that was me. Shit. I would give it to you, but that was me. But okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. That was too close for the eye, so I may have to catch it in editing when I replay it and watch it back. We're going to give each of you a chance to answer. We both know, though. Yeah. Ah. We both know. He's, he's a Scorpio. No, he's a Taurus. He's Motherfuckers! A he's oh, a Taurus. Oh, yeah, he's a Scorpio. Taurus. Are you kidding me? He's a Taurus? Yeah, they're the real villains. Mark Didn't you know? I didn't know that. He's a Taurus. Yeah. Oh, no, I thought he was Look a at his neck. So his neck is wide, and he has that very pronounced kind of like... Yeah, but he's got some Aquarius or Taurus... I mean, or um, Pisces in there somewhere. Look at his eyes, but... Yeah, he's a Taurus. Candace the real villain. Candace takes the lead for the first time ever, or did you have the lead for a second in the first I one? I mean, whatever. We're not counting. Four or three. I think she did. Four or three. All right. Here we go. Damn. Number eight. Yeah. Obviously, they're Geminis. Absolutely not. What? No! <laughs> what? Cancer. Nope. Oh, my God. Wait. 
I just love how this one follows after Zuckerberg. Come on. <laughs> oh, those are Gemini twins? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're Leo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's who they are. Oh, <laughs> no big deal. What the fuck? So, They're the ones that were on the rowing team. Is that worth two points? No, shut up. <laughs> no. We're yes, tied. They actually we're tied. were Olympic rowers. Mm. God damn it. Fuck. Yeah. That's right. They called it Gemini to make fun of Libra. Facebook's Libra coin. Well, and because they're twins, but yes. Right. That's awesome. And forever adversaries of thy Zuck. All really? right. Really? Okay. That's we awesome. are... Four to four. Woo! Oh, Getting goodness. down to the wire. This is it. Oh, we gotta let's revisit. Why are they Leo? What or what Leo characteristics do they possess? Uh, the flair of the app, you know. Uh, they have great shoulders too. Yeah, that's part of it. It's and like their shoulders and their back. Their the, there might be shoulder pads in those. No, <laughs> no, but they're built like linebackers. Yes, they're they're TV ready. I'll say that. Every Leo is TV ready. The one line from the social network is he goes, "I'm six five, two twenty, and there's two of me." They're in the social network? Well, they, they're they characters in the social yeah. network. Yeah, have you seen that movie? No. Oh. Yeah, it's about the whole falling out with Facebook and Zuckerberg because, right. yeah, they were part of the originals. Anyway, that's the what- The twins were part of the original Facebook? Yeah, so they, oh. they built Gemini because they took the Facebook lawsuit money and invested heavily into yeah. cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and then built oh. the Gemini platform. Oh, no Yeah, way. that's the storyline there. That's lit. See, they're like main characters of their own movie and they're in a yeah. movie. That's Leo. That's wild. And they were in the Olympics. Wow. What a life. All right. <laughs> Harvard grads. What are we at now? Mm, four, four and four. four. Don't look at me like <laughs> This is huge. Uh-oh. Number nine. Uh-oh. Are we ready? I'm going to keep yeah. an eye on the lights. Here we go. Ready? And. <laughs> My- Sagittarius, Fuck you. baby! Fuck you! I knew All that! All these are her sons. Yeah. Yeah, she, okay. she is a sag. There we go. Oh. She says, I'm a, a sheriff badge. She called herself a sag, remember? She has a big booty, okay? And she's wild. And she has long as, hair. She's wild, and she has long hair. That's yeah. Sagittarius. She's a trendsetter. Uh, and, yeah, she has Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> and the ninth house sag is father, and she says that these bitches are her sons. Yeah. So, there you go. I mean... I think it's been pretty fair so far. <laughs> yeah. Got one point. That was close. I needed that. Thank you, Nikki. This is a must for you. Obviously. I hope to God you know. And don't get happy hands. I'm not. I haven't moved. Three, two, one. An Aquarius. Nope. <gasps> Wrong. Fuck Are you serious? You. Oh, he's a, he's a Capricorn. Is he really? Oh my god! I didn't even know. Because he is the goat, and we can end this debate. Michael Jackson, so Michael Jordan goats. doesn't count because Michael Jordan's a basketball god. So he, LeBron so, James is gonna take Jordan. Uh, Michael Jordan can't be compared to other basketball players because he's Aquarius. So really, it's him and Kobe, and Kobe's the master, and so LeBron's the goat. Even though, you know, some people say he ruined basketball because he did the whole trade thing, he's still the GOAT. Even though Michael Jordan is on a, a level higher than LeBron, you can't really compare Michael Jordan because he's like an alien. He like saved our whole world from aliens. <laughs> You're talking about Space Jam? Yes, that counts. Okay. You know, he's an okay. alien god. So like, he can't really be the greatest. That's LeBron because LeBron, you know, actually isn't so much an alien, maybe a test tube baby, but like. You know, he is the good. I didn't like the second Space Jam. I didn't think it was as good. Because he's not an alien. He's not a bad Because he's not guy. fucking Michael Jordan. <laughs> right? You see, I mean, lot, it's a common misconception. People say Michael Jordan's the GOAT, but like, you can't really compare him. Even though, like, he, he you know, you can compare his stats with other I feel players. like Kobe okay. was a better okay. player than the Game LeBron seven. James. True, you can argue that. Game you know, seven, NBA championship, three seconds left. Who takes the last shot? I mean, Kobe could, but I'm going to give it to Kobe. Jordan. Kobe. I'm going to give it to okay, Jordan. Okay, yeah. Okay. The reason that LeBron, and this is, again, it's opinion, but LeBron can play all five positions on the floor. Yeah. Jordan was a 2-3. Okay. But he could also play 
point guard. Anyway, not to get off topic here. All right. Oh, for real, for so real. five four. Five four. So technically Mike won. But we six could... four. No, it's five four. Because it's ten. Nikki? Yeah, he oh yeah, he got Minaj. Oh. Okay, I don't know what number we're on. Six four, baby. I believe that's correct. Okay. Yeah, because it was tied at this one. Right? Okay, let's just go. Just give me the All last right. one. So the last one is indeed a tiebreaker in all fairness. Okay. Let's do this. Even though what is it? Let's Mike go. already took this. Uh, Holy no. shit, that was almost exactly I'm at the gonna, same time. You guys can both take a shot at it. I'm giving it to her. I think Lucy Lou's a Leo. Wrong. Taurus? Wait, Lucy Lou, I've seen her. Aries? Capricorn. Scorpio. You're going to get it eventually. Mm. Right. Gemini. Nope. Pisces? Cancer? Sagittarius. Really? Wow. Okay. That's interesting. How is she the goat? How does this factor into well, everybody? Sagittarius? No, this was the tiebreaker. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, okay, okay. You're right. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw an Asian in there somewhere, obviously, oh just God. to keep it fair. Yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, there's no Latinos. Yo. Oh. Maybe that'll be the tiebreaker next time. <laughs> <laughs> Latinos versus Asians. <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> Eminem would have fit in there well. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we already had Eminem, didn't we? I think so. Did we? I don't remember. I narrowly pulled away a victory again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was still that was still a good run. I so good overall in the World Series of Guess That Sign, Mike is currently leading two to nothing. I'll give it to you. I'm not going to be a sore loser. I, I, it was close, though, because I definitely knew, knew Nikki was a Sag. I, I was waiting for Cardi. It's funny because, like, the, the the sun signs that I know, like, I know their chart. I can be, like, I can just tell you, like, their placements. But. Right. I got lucky. You didn't know LeBron. I thought he would no. have known that one. That was close. No, but also I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know that he was all Capricorn, but probably the chart that I knew the best on there was... Um, Probably tigers. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm down to make this like a regular segment. People, people thought it was pretty funny. I mean, we just thought we would give it a shot, but it ended up. It's pretty fun. Being a good lie. time, right? So, I mean, if anything, you can comment down below uh, concepts as far as what, how <laughs> we, you know what kind of what kind of we did goats this time. So what do you want to see next time? Yeah, we could do like on? categories or something. That would be yeah. fun. But like also, I think it'd be cool. We talked about it in another episode, like creating new segments and content um, for this channel or for this podcast. Now that we have entered into season two. So I think it'd be cool to also like um, integrate more of like the question and answer segment. So if you guys have any opinions on that, if you would like us to answer questions as a part of a segment for the podcast, if you would like to like write in or if you had a number that you can call in and leave a voicemail, is that something that you guys would like to do? And uh, yeah, make sure you join level one, two or three too, because why not just set yourself apart from all the other viewers and just, you know, be a goat yourself. People don't realize also, like, the amount of work that goes into creating this podcast. We're a three-man team. We're all um, self-funded and doing it on our free time because we're super passionate about this project. We're stoked to be here almost a year later. It's crazy to see how this whole thing has kind of unfolded. Mm -hmm. Your memberships and your donations during our live show make it possible for us to afford to keep doing this and also bring you guys more content. Yeah. So by joining our memberships, you make it possible for us to do this. And by getting in on level three, you're gonna get a free reading once a month during our live shows. So. Um, what you guys are not aware of is by the time we go live, we've already filmed about two episodes. We're hanging out. We're a little loose. We're a good time. <laughs> and we like to have fun on our lives and be able to give you guys readings. So if that's something you're interested in, check out our memberships tab and check out all of our links below. Also, Mike and I both have our own personal channels. So you can find Mike at The Peace Dealer. Yep. If you want to see his peace talks, if you want to also book a session with him or see what he's got going on. Sometimes he's doing moon circles and other things. You can find my channel at Beyond the Veil Tarot and Astrology, and uh, you can see what I've got putting out. I've got live shows also on the weekends, live readings, tarot and astrology, and I do my weekly astral weather. I've been 
putting more content on there recently. And Mike and I are hoping to start a Las Vegas, Nevada um, astrology chapter um, and making it possible for there to be a meetup for us to start interacting with the community and bringing uh, more astro talks and stuff to you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, let us know. And yeah, you know, with the level memberships, Correct me if I'm wrong, I think one of the levels allows for shout outs. So Yeah, level two. When we do have like the lines, if any of you who are part of the membership have anything you want to shout out, we can play that in a call in line and you can share any messages you want to shout out. Yeah, you guys have been super awesome. We're so glad to be here almost a year later. It's crazy that this has <laughs> continued and that strangers want to support us drinking alcohol and talking about the cosmos on the internet. So thank you guys so much for being supporters. We appreciate it. We are stoked to be giving you a second season of the podcast and we will see all of you guys very soon. Take care. Peace.